They don't smoke marijuana inside either, but apparently is it conceiving of a child, they were smoking marijuana. What you want, what you want, what you gonna do when Sherry John Brown come for you? We got the call, a male had come uh, downstairs, uh, from an upstairs apartment downstairs, and was apparently threatening the caller and some of the people they had with them with a knife. When we contacted the suspect, uh, we had been pointed up to his apartment. He was sitting outside. You could tell just from talking, kind of slurring his words, still pretty intoxicated. These people downstairs have repeatedly decided that they want to smoke their pot outside. Okay. All right. I have, in front of other neighbors, said that do not do that because I could at any time be exposed to going to do a drug test. He went down there to take care of business himself. He didn't call us prior to this. Uh, he also, per our victims, he went down and had a knife in his hand, kind of like a kitchen steak knife style. Our victim actually, she had just had a newborn, probably about a month old child, and the father was in town for the holiday weekend and also to visit the child. So there were several people, the family members standing outside. Why are you going to people that you think are just smoking weed with a knife in your hand? That makes people a little nervous. Because they've done it, and there was a security guy. What was the point of the knife? What was the point of the knife? brought it up. What was the point of the knife? I wanted to ask him for onions. I don't even see. I don't smell any food, any remnants well, of food. Because I didn't in have an onion. All I smell is beer. Our original caller's father uh, was the one I believe he got pushed by our subject, and. That was his cue to kind of, okay, let's get my family inside here. So he got them inside as the guy kind of came closer to them. And uh, basically, as he's slamming the door, the guy's kind of picking the knife out. We couldn't really establish. The father didn't feel that he, the subject was trying to stab him. It just felt that the guy was kind of losing control of his actions. So was he holding the knife like, yeah. like he was going to stab somebody yeah. with it? Or? Like this. Yeah, just like this. Okay. Okay. See what the knife looked like. This is like a, a black handled knife. kitchen knife. And did he cross your guy's door at all, or just did this all happened out in the balcony? The with the knife. Oh, did he? And he was trying to bang in the door. Yeah, yeah there's a mark on there. Okay. Go look at it. Yeah. Okay. So initially, everyone's out here, and that's when he had come. Yeah. Okay. Usually, our detectives would follow up if they interviewed him, and he made that a complaint again that he's had several calls to the police department and to our resource officers. Uh, they would usually research that and see if there is any type of truth to that. Because the guy may have been just at his wit's end with uh, all the activity down there, plus he alleged some other criminal activity or behavior in the parking lot and the surrounding apartments. And he may have become frustrated with any kind of response or what was being done by the property managers and, and police. You know, however, you still need to call us. If you want to try to go down there with us, and that's fine, but... You know, we need, we need to be notified and on scene so something like this doesn't occur.